Good day and welcome to another edition of Al Sharad Genie, where we will be looking at the, the meeting at the Gravel, Hollywood Gravel at the Polytrack. Today is the 2nd of June 2021. Before we start with our daily uh, preview, I just want to quickly touch on yesterday um, results. But yesterday we had and following the results, obviously the first two races, we never gave you any selections because I was two years old. And the third race, we had the last song, but I mean, so that the race was South Africa. So that wasn't a, a big surprise. Then in race four, our outsider selection, Walsing, uh, Walsing Al, did win. And uh, yeah, our first three our selections in this race uh, did came home, exactly paying 11 rand. Then race, race number five, we uh, fell out of the bus, the bus a little bit. We had Confonic Legacy. The horse took a lot of time to get going, but eventually when he, when he started moving, he really finished well. So maybe this is a horse that you want to put in your black book, uh, Counterphonic Legacy, and follow him a little bit. I'm sure he's going to win uh, uh, shortly. Then race six, everybody had this horse. Al Saki, again, not a surprise. I think he jumped at three to ten. But then, yeah, our biggest feat came yesterday in race number seven where we gave you Bella Black as one of our value bets. Now, the horse was um, five to one in the morning. He drifted um, to about eight to one and eventually paid nine rand to win, two run 50 a place, which surely is very good value. Then race eight, also our um, value bet um, that we gave you, of the outsider selection, I mean, sorry, outsider selection, number 10, Encore, Enco running well, and I think this horse is going to train. We also um, had um, Andu and Trois, um, and that exacta paid 23 and 40. And then in the last race, we, uh, oh yes, in race eight, we had Roger the Dodger as our value bet, and that ran fourth. So out of the first four, we did give you three of them, but ready, uh, ready to go was hard to find. And then in the last race, um, we went for number nine, but that never a future. Um, but we did add funky music into our play here. So eventually we got the PA four times for 64. So you made a little bit of a profit there. You got 80 rand back. And then the pick six, we unfortunately missed with Lord Melbourne, but we had the rest. So that was yesterday's play. So let's have a look at today at Hollywood. We, we The first race is off at... 1220, and that's a maiden juvenile plate. And as you know, we don't uh, do selections on juvenile plates. So what I'll do is I'm going to give you the betting order, and then we'll start the court on race two. So race one, number three, Asta Manana, six to ten, Anamagan, 15 to four, Bustaka, six to one, Battalion, 25 to one, Crest Eagle, 25 to one, and longer the rest. Guys, and I just keep on saying, you know, there's people who keep on punting on these first-timers at short odds. Yesterday, again, in um, Gauteng, uh, Teval, the first race, there was also, like, they were punting. There's only two horses to win. And then the third horse at 12 to 1, Lollapalooza, walked away with the price. So here in the second race, the meeting as follows, never-ending love, 3 to 1, top honors, 33 to 10, a little bit naughty, five to one, Bay of Dreams, eight to one, Japanese poetry, 10 to one, nine to one, Super Lila, Valley Good, 12 to one, and 18 to one, and better the rest. So here in race two, my first selection is the number seven horse, the top honors. Um, this is a still a young horse, three year old, by Ford with me, Muzieni on board. He's riding extremely well. Uh, he was on board, Bella Black, and that horse jumped slow, but he brought the horse into contention and he won going away. And I think top honors today, um, last time on the poly ran a nice race, 24.1, ran on well late, and I'm thinking number three top honors be hard to beat in this race. My outsider selections is number eight, Super Layla. Super Layla is there and there, about two links, three links, five links, but also has the services of Lyle Hewitson, and he's riding at the top of his game. Anything he puts a leg over must have a chance. So I think Super Layla, Definitely a conclusion for your um, 
trifectas in quartet selections. Then here we have number nine, Captain Beauty. Also only had two runs, uh, runs but getting the minus one and a half, a two-year-old today against older horses. But doesn't run too bad. And I'm thinking today, over the longer distance, a Cape Town Noir by Mark of a Steam Mayor, definitely he's looking for the longer distance. And I think that this um, today, this 1,400 meters will be right up his alley. And then let's look at number five, which is the favorite, never ending love. Yeah, this horse can win Kumar on board, Devante contender, but always a horse that gets a lot of something to, to beat him. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, a horse that you do need to include into anything, but not a type of horse that I'll be rushing to the bookmakers to get my bet on. Then we move to the maiden plate, 1400 meters for his mares, and here the betting is as follows. Number eight, Bella's Sikon, 11 to 10. Owlet, 5 to 1. Coenza, 6 to 1. Capriana, 11, 10 to 1. T42, 12 to 1. Just the win, 12 to 1. 14 to 1, and better the rest. So here in race three, my first selection is the number eight horse. It reminds me of Bella Bianca yesterday. And it's uh, strikingly min uh, plus minus. Also the same type of colors, the um, Bella Bianca, also green and blue, but just in another combination, just something to talk about. Then this horse ran on the poly over the 1400 meters, today over the same distance, finished well, 23.5 nicely, found one better, went to the front um, with Kennedy on board. I'm not sure if they're gonna follow the similar tactics, maybe just tucking in, sipping second to third, and let the horse run on, but I'm, the do I'm not the jockey and neither the trainer, so, but this was extremely well bred to Silvano by Dynasty Me. I will give, uh, uh, you know, um, I will love to own a boss. And the damn Bella Scumante did win a few races in her time as well. And therefore, I think Bella Bianca today hard to beat in race number three. Then for outsiders, we're going to go with number four, which is. Um, uh, Quinanza, Lyle Hewitt's on the board uh, again. This horse has been running dead and dead about uh, first time over the 1400 meters, but looking again at Quiraro by Silvano May, definitely the distance um, will be probably crying out for this distance. So, number four, not to be ignored. And also the golf puller stable, uh, it seems like he and, and Lyle Hewitt's is forming a potent. A potent uh, a partnership, so needs to be included. Then here we have number five, Capriana, Sean Wheel on board, last time out, also ran a nice race. Has only run on the poly once, we had ran a third running iron on behind, eye catching, although in the slow time, fastest one of the finish, but in the slow time. Then there is the name that you should recognize, Neta, although far behind, but that finish behind Neta uh, in a second race. And then she's been there and thereabouts, and I'm sure today over the 1,400 meters, uh, she's going to make a present felt. And we also want to have a look at... Um, number three, which is Owlet, a Jackson by a Rambo Dancer Me, Ryan Munger on board. Isn't this jockey riding extremely well? Yesterday, he went start to finish on Lala Puluva. He just says, I have silver, goodbye and they never got to him. Drawn free, also improved from a first to a second run. Duchess of Success has followed up on his maiden win and uh, on a second start, and he now finished. But I think looking at a breeding ejection by Rambo Dancer May, probably the 1400 meter will suit better, can certainly be a contender in this race. So let me move on to race number four, which is another maiden plate over a thousand meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number three, Red Rising, five to two. Rock on Captain, 15 to four. A Buzz, 11 to two. Countin's Cartier, 11 to two. And Makwa Duff, seven to one. Serena Slam, 10 to one. Intombi, 14 to one. Leopard Lady, 16 to one. 25 to one. The better to the best, the rest. Well, here in race number five, when I saw this horse, number five, Namakwa, I immediately decided this is my choice. This is Silvano by uh, Way With Me. Um, has had two runs over shorter distances. Now today running over um, 
over a thousand meters again, a little bit shorter, was running over 1200 meters where he faded a little bit. But from draw five with a minus four, I'm thinking this horse is gonna, gonna go to the start and gonna say, listen guys, catch me if you can. And uh, I think we'll definitely be suited to the poly. Hasn't run on the poly yet, but I'm looking at number five, Namakwadab, a, a, a huge runner in this race. Then for outsider selections, I'm going with number four, which is Airbus. As also a horse has been there and thereabouts. Richard Ferry riding today, did ride a horse last time out and just got um, beaten, was running on stoutly, but just couldn't get to Dragon Queen. And uh, yeah, under Paul, he has run seven runs for the third and two fourths. But I'm thinking of Richard Ferry, definitely expect a huge run today from Airbus. In my other outsider selection is number eight, Countess K K K Carter. Also has a two-year-old, only had two runs. Nicely bred, uh, twice over by Count And last time out, um, just faded behind Silver Rights. And before that, um, ran Furbin and uh, uh, Ashling, Ashling a, 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 a surprise winner a week ago here as well. And I think number eight, Countess Carter can definitely be a contender. And then we look at the favorite number three, Red Rising. Red Rising is um, ran second last time in his first range behind Lasha Star. And yeah, definitely have to be respected. Sean Wild, Dennis Dreyer, definitely a contender. Then um, for your bigger pick six, I haven't added this, but if you can afford it, Add in number two, Serena Slam. Also had a, a, has run some decent races and with Vlad Hewitson riding for his dad can certainly be also involved in the finish. But I'm sticking with number five, Namakwa Duff. Then we move on to race number five where the betting is it must be it must be loved. 11 to two, retail therapy for 11 to two, beat it six to one, Miss Generosity seven to one, Nina Amelia eight to one. 8 to 1, Wiz of Arts, Friends Fling, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, Nikaya, and 12 to 1, a better the rest. So here we have in race number five, we have a 1,000 meters, Phillies and Mays, 82, Handicap, Class C, average merit in 79. And here my choice is the number one horse, Nina Amelia. Now, this is the only horse that Paul Magic is bringing down. Now, I can tell you now for a, for a fact, the trainer don't wake up in the morning and say, listen, I'm now going to find a horse that I'm going to send to uh, the poly track. They must have done their homework. This horse is extremely fast. Muzi Yeni is going to jump. Muzi Yeni is going to go and say, hi, guys, come and fetch me. This horse that has run against some decent opposition here in Kateng, and uh, this is not a strong field. And I'm thinking eight to one, a very nice each way bet. So take your money and uh, take your each ways, and I think you're going to have a good run for your money. Everything goes according to plan, because you can see here uh, names like Rise as one, Sudden Charm, um, Ariza, you know, Rapid Fire, um, all horses, My Queen, Multiply Winners, Murder Trumpet, Mind Reader. Okay, they spare the shoes, so you can ignore that run. But I'm going to say, tell you now, this horse is going to jump. This horse is going to go, and they're going to come and have to fetch for Muzi Yeni on this horse, and that is a fact. And for outsider selections, I'm going with number three, uh, Miss Generosity. Also a nice little filly who catches the eye. Um, she's always there and involved. I don't know what happened with the last two runs behind Linear and Jitter and Gold. But besides those two runs, always a horse that's involved has got Kamado on board today, and also I think will be a huge runner in this race. In my, out, my other outsider selection is here, here at the bottom, number 12, Karat. This horse um, comes from Cape Town, a lot of U.S. on board. And this horse has also been running and a little bit stronger than you can see uh, in his meeting here. You can see here in a B Division 84 by Kitty Cat, Cat, Kitty Cat Chat, a very good horse. And Captain Dizzy, also a good horse. And um, just for interest, uh, one day this horse ran, I can't remember which day, uh, and in, in England there was uh, a, a horse with the exact name also running. Unfortunately, he didn't win, but the one in England won because I took, I took a 10 rand double on that. 
but the one. But then he has been improved. He's been improving slowly, and it's a war and by Captain Almi, and I'm sure that Polly is going to uh, uh, sue this horse. So watch out, number 12, Gerard. And then let's look at number seven, which is um, It Must Be Loved. That's the favorite. I've been following this horse, but this horse has also, uh, uh, you know, uh, disappointed me. Now getting Comedia on board, minus one and a half, and certainly can involve, be involved here in the finish. Then we go to race number six, which is a maiden plate over 2,000 meters, and here's the betting as follows. Number four, master, six master of the, of the north, 16 to 10. 22 to 10, Duranza, Durosa, Command Council, 11 to 2, 12 to 1, Cash Express, 14 to 1, and better the rest. Now, here in my, um, my selection is number four, Durosa. It's a soft falling rain by Ford with me. The 2000 will suit, has never gone that distance, but I'm sure it will be definitely be a distance that will be the liking the number four, Durosa. Also, Lai Hewitson on board, and I'm looking for this horse to be standing up in the number one box come the end of the race. Then, outside of selections, number seven, Command Council, Richard Furry on board, also running there and there about. He has ridden the horse a few times, and I'm sure number seven, Command Council, will be a contender uh, when the photos are taken. And then, number nine, my other outsider, Cash Express, a jackpot by a black one to lose me. This horse is improving slowly, slowly, and can also be involved in the finish over this 2,000 meters. That finish fourth, but a little bit way behind. Simply complicated, but not a strong field. Definitely also a horse that can be involved in the finish. And then here's the favorite number six, Master of the North. That ran second last time out behind Decorated, went to the front and tried to make it, make it all buzz, but um, was run out of it. And I think uh, with similar tactics today, will definitely suit the number fours, which will be running him down. And that's a fact. So then we move on to the um, seventh race, which is a merit rate at 89 handicap over 1700 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Numbers two, lines eight, 17 to 10, Magic Midland, seven to two, Seamaster, eight to one, 11 to 1, Maitland Magic, and Vision 12 to 1, 14 to 1, and better the rest, scratch number 7. Before I go there, I just want to quickly touch on something which I forgot to mention here in race 6. Here in race 6, you'll see that Garth Puller has got two first uh, two runners, number 1 and 2, well drawn. I would advise you to put these two horses in the back end of your quartets because I do feel that they are improving horses. They can improve over this um, over this 2,000 meters. So, uh, because Gav has been bringing him on slowly, and I do just want to advise you, put in the back ends of your quartets and trifectas. So back to race number seven, where my first selection is the number two horse. This horse really got to me. When he won here in August, and then, you know, you went to uh, Durban, and I just felt, you know, this horse is going to be, you know, uh, a good horse, but he was always beaten. And then the second run back on the poly beating mid magical Midlands, very easy. He was bulked, switched, and he still won convincingly. And I think this horse is back to his best. He do like the poly, no problem with the poly three runs, who win a second and a fourth. And uh, yeah, this distance of 1700 meters should really be not a problem. And I'm looking for number two lines here today. Very hard to beat in this race. And for outsider selections, I'm going here to the bottom of the field. Horses 11 and 12, Spring Fling. Spring Fling won three races. Has run against some stronger position that she's meeting here. But from draw 11, a little bit of an advantage, but can he be involved in the finish? And then also Vincent. Vincent also improved horse. Won of three races since August last year. Always there and thereabouts. So do include into your play. And then we're going to look at number six. Um, which is the second favorite, Magic Midlands, was beaten by Lion's Head, and I can't see it turning around, although Lyle Hewitson on board, but um, they were carrying, uh, Magic Midlands was carrying half a, a kilogram more. Now, um, 
Midlands is carrying 58 and a half and Maitland Magic is carrying 57 and a half. So there's a two kilogram swing. Ach, um, where am I now? Um, it's, yeah, Magic Midlands carrying 57. So that is a two kilogram swing. But I don't think that two kilogram will be enough for Lion's Head because remember Lion's Head was bopped and got run, you know, um, started running lately. And then we move to race number nine. Our race number eight, which is the last race, a maiden plate over 1,200 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number 12, look, loving the victory, 5 to 2, Golden Trip, 33 to 10, Brass La 6 to 1, Global Connection, 16 to, uh, 6 to 1, number 8, Meziuna, uh, Meziuna, 13 to 2, and 14 to 1, and longer the, the, the rest. So, here my first selection is another uh, Lyle Hewitt's and Ride Golden Trip. I do like the breeding of this horse. Golden Spectrum has won a few races. And as I, if I'm not mistaken, has also thrown a few winners. I don't know what happened behind this race, behind that of, of, of Sussex, but I'm sure they've sorted that problem out. And I do feel that number two, Golden Trip, is going to run a huge race here in the last race. Well, outside of selections, I'm going for number eight, which is Maisona. It's also VAR by Fort Wood Mayor. Did improve last time from his previous race over a, a poorly thousand meters and with Richard on board. Sure, I'm thinking he's going to run a very good race. Then my other outsider selection is number 10. C. Cruz, Duck Campbell, also ran a nice race on his debut and now going on the poly for the first time. Definitely a two year old you need to take um, uh, uh, notice of. And then here we have number 12, Loving the Victory. Uh, Kumar on board for Nathan Godson has been running places in the last two races, but also not a type of horse that I would rush to put my money on, um, as disappointed in the past. So that brings us then to the end of my preview for today. I hope I could point in the right direction. And as I always say, break a leg. <laughs>